the Earth's moon is a very, very strange thing. There's no doubting the anomalies of the strangeness of the moon. You can come from, from two points of view. You can come from a Judeo-Christian, Islamic, Abrahamic view and see the moon as being evil. And that includes things like David Icke, and, and I'm not putting down David Icke as a person, but his attitude towards the moon being an, a, a hologram that the lizards make us all miserable. It's just a continuation of the moon is evil. And, it, you know, it's, it's the modern... The, 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 the way he uses the lizards is the same way that past they used the werewolves. The moon brings out the evil, the full moon and all this. And this whole thing that he gets the the whole thing that the moon is artificial. And it is in a way, and I'm going to explain why, and probably it, the most outlandish moon, moon theory you've ever heard. But it's coming from a pagan point of view. That the, the, the moon, who built the moon, this kind of, it's a spaceship that was parked there. That all comes from the Death Star in, in Star Wars. David Icke, in his theories, often mixes up popular culture and facts so therefore the tv show v became the reptilians the death star in star wars became the moon the moon matrix and uh then again there's, there's kind of nothing particularly wrong with this because it's kind of an interesting folky kind of thing it's almost like modern folklore developing before us so it's not like it's not like completely useless or anything like that it's it's quite, it's quite, it's an interesting process of folklore we're seeing un unfolding in many ways. But ultimately, sadly, at him, it's, it seems to be all negative, and that's directly coming from the, the Christian elements, which, where he got his, a lot of his stuff from, even though he thinks he's anti-religion. Most of his, if you read his early books, they're exact, they're identical to The Biggest Secret, which is quite a good read, is uh, a lot of that would be, cons you know, things like, basic Freemasonry and understanding that, you know, the Bavarian Illuminati and all that stuff, mixed in with a lot of the Christian identity stuff, Bill Cooper kind of things from America. But that's besides the point. That's his thing. That's just his gig, okay? Uh, the, the reason why people think the whole thing of the moon being a satellite and artificial is because it's too perfect. It's too perfect. And it's too strange. It's exactly the right distance from the earth and size in just the right orbit perfect in order to create eclipses both solar and lunar it is a far bigger planetoid orbiting satellite moon than any other planet in the solar system or that we know of anywhere else in the universe so far has it's gigantic in proportion to the other planets other moons it's it has a tremendous effects on human and animal and biological systems on this earth and this is why this is my theory of the moon as you know i'm a pagan and i believe that the human the earth is alive it's alive now as are all the planets the moon regulates life on this earth and it the planet would probably not be as stable in terms of its climate its tidal structures its rotational orbit around the sun if it didn't have the moon acting as a kind of a a centrifuge to regulate and balance the the orbitals both the rotation and the orbital spin around as uh, rotation around the sun The, I believe that human consciousness has existed for billions of years in the, into the past because it's timeless and what we would perceive as billions of years into the future. Whatever this is inside us, it's, all, it's a constant. It's always been there. It, in fact, it is the only universal constant. That's it. That you could actually say is for real. When this planet formed, either it, human consciousness developed here or came here as at the bottom of the seas. And in order, 
for human consciousness to emerge onto the land from the depths of the ocean. The moon was needed to regulate climatic, geothermal and other cycles upon this planet to make life on the surface more habitable. I suppose this brings us back to the octopuses again. Human conscious dreaming at the bottom of the ancient oceans in tandem with the nurturing of the mother goddess Gaia as she's known in our pantheon in our classical pagan pantheon capped, literally captured a passing planet or satellite and that's what we call the moon it captured it it took it or it lured it here and it brought it into just the right orbit in order to regulate the cycles of nature and the geology and everything else upon the planet which created a stability in the planet which allowed human consciousness to emerge from the seas and eventually to where we are now. It was a spaceship in the sense that it was taken and put into orbit around us as, as you know it was, it was literally captured spaceship now a spaceship doesn't mean it's intelligent controlled it was a planet floating through the universe and the, the, the moon is a nurturing power on this planet if you come from the whole thing i don't even believe i don't in the in genesis i don't even think the creation of the moon is even mentioned by Jehovah. Now I'm going to say about the negative spaces. What isn't mentioned is what you look out for. And uh, I wonder. I'd be even interested to see what the any what the mentions any of you biblical people out there how the moon is even mentioned in the Bible. That's an interesting topic we can talk about in the comments. And the moon becoming evil within those cultures within that culture. So the moon is an amazing thing and its supernaturalism is not a, is given to us every so often. This is why our ancient ancestors, our pagan ancestors, were amazed by solar eclipses, as you should be. It was not, I don't think they believed, they, they fell in terror. They knew they were coming because they'd heard about them from other ancestors, their ancestors. When it happened, it felt like a nod of approval from the gods. It was a, a symbol of one of those signs of nature that shows you it's not an accident. There are greater forces at work here. I believe all this phobia about eclipses was really to do with the Christians. Uh, the, the, the world going black and the moon going red during a, a lunar eclipse. And this is what terrified them. Because who's in charge here? Who's in charge? And... Uh, it, it, they have to confront that they were it, that there was no Jehovah, there was no great God in charge. That this Jehovah thing was an imposter who had lied to them, just as the Jehovah Witness Bible says. It's clear as day. God created this, God created this, and then at the creation of man, it suddenly becomes Jehovah God. The actual truth comes out in the Jehovah Witnesses Bible that that's a, that the, it's a demon imposter, and God is just the the probably us and our consciousness in in association with the entire universe and that's why i believe the moon is, is different as a pagan that's my belief why the moon is amazing and special and so strange it's part of the cosmic cycle of consciousness the interaction with natural forces and the regulation of natural forces in order to create cosmic order out of cosmic chaos and that's where, that's where I think a lot of that comes from as well. And the moon is beautiful. The moon is represented by the goddess Selene in classical paganism. And it's, it's, it's a shame that, you know, that some, it's, it's strangeness is pointed out by people like David Icke. And you, you know, it's a fair enough that we, know, we hear that the moon is a very odd thing. And then jumps into that it's a reptilian mind control spaceship that's destroying us and holding us back from evolution or whatever. Directly connected to a TV show called V and also a film called Star Wars. 
you could say okay they're they're also true as well they're, they're representatives of other allegories of other things but he doesn't say it that way he means it literally an allegory and literal are two different things so there you go that's m my moon theory it's probably could be bullshit too but that's what i've always believed it came from a dream years ago and um, i trust my dreams